The thing that made me decide to become a chiropractor is that my sister had a lot of health problems. And um, my mom found this particular form of chiropractic, Nuka, uh, for her. And it helped her so significantly that it really motivated me to uh, think, how can I help people like this? I had a fantastic experience and I really wanted to delve into natural health care because I love to help people. I believe one of the things that makes this practice unique is that um, even though our practice focuses on the head and neck and posture, um, that we still look at the whole body. I was in a car accident about 15 years ago and I had severe issues. I had pain every single day after the car accident. It was mainly um, uh, whiplash type injury, but just things that wouldn't go away, you know, headaches, migraines, all of that kind of thing and lower back pain, shooting pain in my arms, a lot of pain, constant pain for years. And I had tried everything, literally everything. I had trigger point injections, I had injections in my, actually in my nerves, which was unbelievably painful. I had um, massage, I had all types of different medications. I went into programs at the Y and things like that to try to try to strengthen my muscles. I did a lot of physiotherapy, physiotherapy probably twice a week. Um, you name it, I did it. After I saw Dr. Scholten, it was amazing. I came in, I thought, oh, you know, let's see what happens. There's no downside to this. What's the worst that's gonna happen, right? There's no real risk, so what's the worst that's gonna happen? So I came in, I saw Dr. Scholten. He said, oh, you know, there's a chance of this, chance of that. I didn't really listen, to be honest. And then he did my first adjustment and I left the office and I thought, there's something really weird. I feel really weird. What is this that I'm feeling? And so I kind of did this body check. Okay, I don't have a headache. I don't have neck pain. I, I kind of went down my body thinking, what is it that's feeling weird? And what was feeling weird was there was no pain. After eight years of pain constantly, every single day, there was none. And I just, I didn't even know what to do with myself. <laughs> it was so amazing. What made me decide to start practicing Nuka was I actually um, used to suffer from migraines for a long time, uh, partially because I had a number of hockey injuries and different things throughout my lifetime. Anytime I went to a chiropractic seminar, it seemed like all the miracle cases were upper neck adjustments for some reason. So I started looking into different techniques that focus their practice on the upper neck. It really touches my heart to have people who are coming in and they're, a lot of times they're frustrated with their health, they're frustrated with the system that we work in and they haven't had any answers and they have no hope that they're ever going to feel better. And for me to sit down with someone and tell them it's going to be okay, we're going to get to the bottom of it, that to me is the most exciting thing and people's eyes light up and they say thank you. No one has ever told me that before. What fascinates me about Nuka is, is posture. The, the idea that uh, as human beings we have two legs and we should stand balanced on those two legs. Nuka is really at the leading edge of, of research in the chiropractic profession. We, we are looking at the upper head and neck misalignment, which chiropractors of course refer to as subluxation when it's a, when it's a problem with the body. And one of the things that we recognize in Calgary is that people blame the weather and the Chinook specifically for their headaches. Now, the challenge with that thought process is that if migraines were caused by Chinooks, then everybody in the city would have a migraine when a Chinook happened. But that's not actually what happens. And so, what's the differentiating factor? And what we found in our investigations, what the differentiating factor is, is the ability of the brain to drain blood. And after the NUCA adjustment, it's been shown in a couple of unpublished as of yet case studies that there's a doubling of the ability of a person's brain to accept new, fresh, oxygenated blood. Our six-year-old son, Erickson Lopsgaard, has been seeing uh, Dr. Hopf here for some time now. Um, he was experiencing quite a few headaches at the front of his forehead here um, that were becoming more and more frequent and was becoming quite a concern for my husband and I. We went to Dr. Antoj, an orthodontist in the Northwest, for our older son, and I asked him about getting a mouth guard for our son Erickson. And he asked me the symptoms, what, what were we seeing with Erickson? And we said we had, he had a lot of these headaches up front uh, in his forehead and that they, they were becoming more frequent. And he didn't think that the issue was teeth grinding. So he looked at his shoulders and noticed quickly 
that Erickson's shoulders were off and they were on quite a steep slope and he uh, recommended Dr. Scholten's office to us. We started coming, I guess it was in the summer, every three weeks and Erickson was, uh, went through quite a process and was treated right away and his headaches went away almost immediately. So we're at about every six weeks to eight weeks right now. Um, that's our cycle that they've suggested we go on. Um, and it's been phenomenal. It's an absolutely non-invasive chiropractic treatment um, that has helped him 100%. Dr. Hoff has been phenomenal for Erickson. He looks forward to coming. He asks when he can come again. We would certainly recommend uh, Dr. Scholten's office as it's one of the best kept secrets out there. Um, I've been trying to promote this office because a lot of people do not know about this type of non-invasive chiropractic care. The reason I got involved with NUCA in particular was, first of all, because of the results I had as a patient with it. I was astounded that an adjustment that felt like a little tickle behind your ear could make me feel fantastic and for a long time. There's a lot of people out there suffering with similar problems that I used to have. Um, and to know that every day that I show up at work I get to help people to experience that less and have a better quality of life.